Hey, and welcome to this tutorial on how to use Maya's command line renderer to render scenes quickly and efficiently. This technique can be super useful when you want to save time and resources by rendering without opening Maya's interface. To begin with, you're going to need a Maya file you want to render. And in this tutorial, we're going to be using Visual Studio Code to create a batch file. But honestly, you can use any text editor or even type commands directly into the command prompt. So to get started, the first step we need to do is specify the name of the Maya executable that runs in batch mode. This can be achieved by typing the line Maya batch, but you might find you need to type the full path to the executable, which is what I need to do here. So I will just copy and paste that here. Okay, so it doesn't matter the order we put these next flags, but let's start by setting the renderer. This can be done by typing dash R and let's just go ahead and put V-Ray. Oh, and if at any point you want more information about the flags, check out Autodesk Docs on the topic, and you might even find some other helpful flags for whatever you're trying to achieve. And there's a link to that in the video's description. Following that, I like to set the start and end frame for the animation, and you can do so with dash S and dash E, and you can just put the number for the frames. Next, a useful flag is dash cam for setting the render camera. And another one I use a lot is the dash IM flag. And this changes the name of the output files. And going hand in hand with this one is dash OF for the output format. And that can be EXR, PNG, or whatever you require. It's good to note that if you do not specify flags such as the renderer, start and end frames, file name and camera, for examples, Maya is going to render whatever is specified in the saved scene file. Think of these more as overrides for whatever is set in the file, and it's nice to have control over these without having to open Maya. There are several other useful flags, including the ability to set the render directory. So you can do that with dash RD, followed by the path to your desired output folder. And I think that's all the main flags I use on a regular basis. So lastly, you just need to put the file path for the file you actually want to render. So just at the end, put a space, and then paste the path to the ma or .mb file. And you should be all good to render. Let's just take a moment to review this command in detail. Firstly, we set the render executable. Then we've selected the renderer that we want to use and specify the start and end frames for our animation. Next up, we've defined the camera name and the file name and format. Then we set the desired render destination. I have a double space here, so I'll just remove that. And finally is the path to the Maya file that we actually want to render. To make things easier, just go ahead and save the file as .bat. This way you can easily execute the Maya command line renderer commands without having to type them every time you need to render a scene. Simply double click the file and the commands will run in Windows command prompt. You can use multiple lines of commands that will run in order, one after another. This is great if you need to render multiple render layers or cameras, you can just queue them up. Oh, and on that same note, which I sometimes like to do is you can shut down your PC after the last command has run and you can do so with the following code, T being the time in seconds before your computer is forced shut down. This is nice if you leave your computer rendering and you just want to shut it off when you're done and dusted. If you're interested in supporting our channel and getting early access to our tutorials, why not consider becoming a Patreon member? You will help us continue to create high quality content and get exclusive benefits such as the Patreon Discord chat and early access to our tutorials. Well, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe buttons. Come chat with me on the Discord and I'll see you in the next video.